We're going to look at a couple of classic hedgerow plants now, plants that actually make up the backbone of our hedges in lowland UK. This first one is hawthorn, this is Crataegus monogyna. If you just look carefully you can see the bits that enable it to do its job. Big sharp thorn here, this is this year's growth so it's still quite soft and quite tender but even at this stage, at the early stage, these thorns are quite sharp. And the origins of its use in the UK go back to the presence of these thorns and the ability of hawthorn to be cut back, um, laid, layered, pleached, laid close to the ground and then grow back strongly away from that. So really robust, really solid, really vigorous plant, extremely hardy, takes exposure, takes browsing and grazing and grows back from it. That's why it's such a useful part of the sort of hedge systems in the UK. In biodiversity terms, um, hawthorn has some real positive attributes. A bit early in the year yet, but later on in the season, if you look at hawthorn hedges, they are generally covered with red berries, halls, H-A-W-S, halls that sort of provide really good autumn feed for lots of birds, lots of songbirds. Um, as I say, it's the, it's the physical characteristics of hawthorn that make it such a useful, durable part of our uh, landscape, really. So this is the second of the main thorn species. This is blackthorn, Prunus spinosa. Um, and a bit like hawthorn, it's a ver very familiar part of the UK landscape, particularly in hedges. Uh, strong, dense, tough, woody shrub. Um, if you look at the leaf arrangements, a little bit different from hawthorn. Individual uh, leaves with a finely serrated edge to them. Uh, very tough, very robust got the same characteristics as hawthorn, you can machine cut it, you can lay it, you can cut it back, you can pleach it, lay it close to the ground and it will grow back again even stronger. As it gets older and denser the um, coloration on the stems tends to get almost black, it's a sort of purple black colour uh, and becomes quite distinctive, hence, hence the name blackthorn. Uh, you want to try and avoid breaking your skin with the thorns if you can, if you puncture your skin there's a pretty strong chance that they'll react to the cuts or the uh, punctures will react and become septic quite quickly. So blackthorn has a reputation for being quite difficult and relatively dangerous to work with. Later on in the season uh, its fruits will appear a little bit early at the moment and uh, a lot of people will be familiar with sloes. They look like small dark purple black plums, very bitter but uh, if you're so minded you can add them to gin uh, and have something that will maybe keep you warm in the winter, slow gin. So blackthorn, key part of our hedgerow landscape, tough, robust, resilient, great biodiversity value, one of the first things to come into flower in the spring, that early flush of white, very bright creamy white flowers uh, early in the season reminds us that blackthorn is a major part of our, uh, our hedgerow landscape. So hawthorn leaves quite a distinctive um, profile and pattern to them. They're, they're, they've got this sort of lobed structure with a very sort of casual, almost broad serration around the edge. And if you contrast that to blackthorn, blackthorn, very different arrangement, symmetrical uh, split down the middle and a carefully serrated edge or finely serrated edge around the, the blackthorn leaf. In terms of colour, these are both young specimens, but you'll find with hawthorn, as it gets older, it tends to become a sort of mahogany brown colour. This is quite young growth, so it's got a lot of green in it, but as it matures and hardens off, it'll become brown. With the blackthorn, as it matures and gets harder and denser, it will become purple black, hence the blackthorn name. 